What's up guys, Jesse Minchie with GetHandles.com bringing you the newest video in the NBA Handle Secret Series. Today we're gonna talk Kemba Walker. All right, very first thing we gotta talk about with Kemba Walker and the, and the thing that immediately pops with me when I watch his game footage and we just watch him playing in, in live games is He's always attacking downhill. He's always trying to get towards the basket and moving towards the basket. So when when you hear player, you know, coaches or players talk about a player being good at attacking downhill, basically what it means is they're continually trying to move towards the basket. And you know, they might make a little direction change on that way to the basket, but they're still generally gonna move towards the basket. And Kemba Walker does this really, really well. He'll keep moving around or you know, he might take an occasional sidestep or whatever the case may be to, you know, create a new lane to get to the basket. But generally speaking, when you see him playing, he's gonna be trying to move towards the basket. And you know, if he knows he, the defender completely has him cut off, then from the, here and there, he'll you know, use that step back jump shot. But he does a great job of always trying to get to the basket. And that allows him to free up some of those things like the three point shot and the step back and stuff like that. Always looking to attack and he's always moving. You don't hardly ever see him st stopping and staying still. Now again, different strokes for different folks. Some players this is gonna work well for. You know, you depending on your level of, of athleticism and your quickness and your ball handling. And other players, you know, maybe they need to do a little bit more of a stationary style. So you gotta have to play around with it and, and, and figure out what works for you. But for Kemba Walker, this works really well. So maybe give it a try and you know, see how it works out for you. But again, keep moving and trying to attack, moving towards the hoop. Second thing we gotta talk with Kemba Walker, get low. Kemba Walker is you know, one of the more short players in the NBA. Uh, in a lot of ways, he kind of reminds me of Isaiah Thomas. It's kind of a similar style overall, but I'd say he's a little bit more movement on his feet, but they both are shorter and they kind of use that to their advantage by getting low. I've played with some players, like I'm not the tallest guy in the world, but I play with this guy, he's shorter than me, and he kills dudes because he plays in that area right down here where it's hard, harder for taller players to get in. Even if you're not like a short player, this is still something you should use getting your, your butt down, bending your knees, that allows you to move more quickly, right? You're ready to move. Versus if you're upright, then you have to drop down to move, okay? When you're running, all that stuff, you're gonna get down low, right? So why not be here ready to move a little bit more quickly? Kemba Walker does this really well. But the key is he kinda combines this with his uh, you know, downhill attack being on the move. So he'll be moving around the court and low while he's doing that. That allows him to move around more quickly, make those quick changes of direction, all that stuff. Okay, third secret for Kemba Walker is to float the dribble. And you probably noticed the theme in some of these NBA Handle Secret Series if you watch some of the other ones. A lot of the players on, on this series have a more of a flowing, floating type of dribble. Not to beat a dead horse, but it comes back to really being able to use your feet more effectively and giving you more options. Okay, so floating the basketball, giving it you know, a good snap at the end, but then floating it in the hand allows you to, you know, if a defender comes in tight, you can still protect it by putting it behind the back. But it also allows you those options to explode and cover ground with that first step. Use your legs a little bit more, okay? Sell that fake to go into a behind the back. Uh, you know, go into your inside out. Just because you're, you're dribbling the basketball up high and floating it longer, doesn't mean you're not able to create off the court. And that's one of the biggest misconceptions I see with the way a lot of players are taught to dribble the basketball. I'm not saying never dribble low and not work on your pound dribbling because those are helpful keys to you know work on dribble speed to help you develop you know uh, changes of speed which you need in the game of basketball. But at the same time, I think I feel like a lot of players are kind of taught to not do that higher floating dribble. And if you watch the best players like Kemba Walker as far as their ball handling goes. They do more of that higher floating dribble. Dribbling low is great for when you get into some high traffic areas, but by dribbling up high too, that allows you to have that change of speed in your game and frees up your feet to move a little bit more. Now, if you found these tips helpful and you're gonna try to put them in your game, make sure you click that like button for me. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if there's any other players you want me to break down and click that subscribe button and get on that notification squad to catch those newest videos the second they come out. Now, if you want a way to take your crossover to an insane new level in just five minutes, make sure you click this link right here. That's a $3 workout that's gonna help you do exactly that. Also, if you found this video helpful, make sure you check out this one and check out this playlist. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Break some ankles today.